Hi guys, welcome to another episode from Stacy Here We Grow Again. Today we're going to talk about cow mag and the importance of calcium in the garden. I am starting to get blossom end rot in the garden on my zucchini and my peppers out there. So I want to make sure that it has enough calcium to push out a fruit. Now at the fruiting stage is usually when you want that calcium. You want to add extra calcium in your garden. I've got some cow mag back there. I'm giving my uh, plants a regular feeding schedule of miracle Grow one time every two weeks and that's it right now and then in between i'm adding my calcium uh, which is my cow mag once a week it is so hot today so excuse my sweat do you know it's almost 90 degrees today and the dew point is up at 85 it is so stinking humid out and i'm so ready for this cold front so-called cold front we're gonna get of 70 degrees so that's our cold front for florida i mean they wear Sweaters, people that were born and raised here. I'm from New York, so I'm looking forward to this cold. I'm going to be out here in a tank top. But I want to talk to you about cow mag and blossom and rot today, not the weather. So let's get rocking, and I'm going to show you my zucchini out there and my peppers and what I'm talking about with blossom and rot. It turns yellow, and then it dies off before that female can pollinate itself. So I want to show you how to mix some cow mag up so you can throw it in your soil and just give your plants a healthy, good structure. It gives good bones to your plants, and it really benefits the garden, throughout the whole garden. My beans are going to need some nutrients and just a bunch of other stuff in, in the garden because we're getting so much produce that it's starting to pop already from sowing our fall seeds a few months ago. So I'm going to pop on the other side and just show you what's going on around here, guys. And we got this cow mag, my jugs, my nutrients, and stuff that I'm adding to my compost, which is coffee grinds and eggshells. And that is for... My compost mixture to add extra calcium and good nutrients in there that we're topping off with our plants i'll show you guys what i mean but you want to get some cow mag if you're lacking a lot of calcium or you're getting blossom and rot and you want to use a teaspoon per gallon of water which i mixed in this jug and i transferred into a smaller jug so i can water easier now a teaspoon is five milliliters that's what five milliliters is which this calls for this is in milliliters the measurements so that's one teaspoon, and that's all you want to do. Put it in, put it in your gallon jug, and then you can transfer it into something smaller. Give it a good shake around, and then we're gonna go water the garden, guys. I want to show you with what I mean about blossom and rot and my peppers with fallen blooms off. So let's come out here. We're starting to get um, green beans right here. See this? We're starting to get a bunch of green beans. So what I want to do is give them some of this cow mag so they have enough nutrients in them. You know, if you give too much nitrogen, which my miracle Grow has tons of nitrogen in it. It's got 24% nitrogen, and that's way too much. So I'm going to give it some calcium in between. I'm only going to feed it once every two weeks with my miracle Grow if that's what you're using. And then this cow mag, you don't want to hit the foliage, guys. Just want to water the soil. This stuff is not for foliage. It can burn the foliage, not only because of the sunlight, but it can just burn the foliage in general. So just make sure you avoid the foliage as much as possible. Um, it doesn't really burn too much if you hit it, but just be careful. You know, you don't want to hit too much of the leaves on your plant. You get a couple of the lower ones, it's fine if they fall off because you're going to end up losing those anyway. And we're giving this tote some because look, we're getting flowers. See, she's flowering for me everywhere. So now that we're flowering and she's pushing out green beans, I think I said peppers, but these are Bush Blue Lake green beans back there. And then these are Kentucky Pole and Kentucky Wonder pole beans. They're all pole beans on this side and they're starting to flower and shoot out beans. Sorry if I said peppers, <laughs> I do that. And then this is my zucchini. She's pushing out fruit. So I want to make sure that these blossoms are not going to rot off. You can see that that flower's turning brown. And that's a female, guys. That is a female flower. Move these out. See it turning brown? And that's no good. That's blossom end rot when it turns brown like that and yellow. So what we need to do to make sure that doesn't happen and to make sure your blooms don't fall off on you is we're going to give it some nutrients, some of that cow mag. And we're going to do this once a week. If you got to give them cow mag twice a week, go ahead and do it. It's not going to hurt your plants. And you water, anytime you give nutrients or anything, you want to water your soil thoroughly first and then give the nutrients so you're not wasting your nutrients. Let it seep down there. <clears throat> and then we're going to go over to my papas. 
These are pushing fruit, so I gave them a little bit of cow mag just to get them by. You can see all that fruit starting. Don't mind the garbage truck. Give them a little bit. In containers, you don't really need to give too much. We gave that one already. And this is my um, peppers that I told you were starting to blossom in right off of here. <clears throat> you can see right here, flowers are falling off on this side. And we picked our pepper, guys. That pepper was so good. It was such a good pepper, and that's why I picked it so it didn't turn yellow or anything. You know, you don't want to leave them on there if you're getting blossom in route. You want to pick them. And it was done anyway. It wasn't growing anymore. So if your pepper's green and it's kind of stalled out and not growing, it's done. It wasn't growing for about a week. I left it on there and I gave it a chance. <laughs> and I picked it. This way, all that energy can focus on this new stuff right here. These new peppers. See, these aren't yellow yet. These are not falling off yet. That is what I want to see. This side's kind of taking. And then this side, you can tell, is look how short this side is because it's not growing. It's blossom and rotting off. It's not growing. See that other side growing? So taking that pepper off of the side re is really going to help that to grow carrots and stuff right here. Doing good. You've been giving them food. You just want to water your, your soil. And then with my compost mixture, guys, that <clears throat> them eggshells and coffee grinds I forgot to take out here. I'm going to dump them in here. And then I'm going to till all this upside down like I did the other day. I grabbed all this stuff from the bottom. We just added new leaves and grass in here yesterday. That's why it's clumpy. But I'm going to get this stuff at the bottom because, look, i got worms in here, too. There's, like, worms doing their job, and that's what you want to see. Worms in your compost. And, look, this is all a nice soil. So what you want to do is make sure you treat that before you go ahead and, and put them on your plants. I treated with some, some nice uh, neem oil, two tablespoons per gallon of water. And then I soaked that whole tote with neem oil, and I'm going to throw a bunch more but you just want to put a couple of handfuls around your plant like this guys and just push it down make sure it's in the soil and then when you water next time all the nutrients from that compost is going to soak down in your soil you can also buy you know potting soil good potting soil if you needed to if you didn't have your own nutrients to give you can get something like coco loco to put in there it's a nice organic compost potting soil I actually pot with all the this soil you can see I got this bucket ready we got a bunch of coco loco this soil is awesome I dumped the rest in here I'm gonna grow something in here that needs that like carrots now carrots you want in a fluffy soil this is the jungle growth the more chunkier you can see and you just want a good potting soil to top off with or a good compost mixture like that give your plants cow mag and I want to show you the um, pollinations we got down here and I want to show you that my watermelon needed the cow mag too she um she's starting to push out a lot of growth and she is going to need a lot of nutrients guys look how big she's getting check her out i'm so excited i'm happy to see her growing this big and you can see just how green she is i topped off with a nice compost mixture of my potting soil you can see it's all dark in there that's what you want by the base of the plants and then she's pushing out tons of fruit and stuff too which i'm so happy to see she pollinated uh, right here we actually got this is the second one I see so this is one pollination and this is a male see the male don't have a fruit on the end guys and since the males are going to fall off anyway you want to pluck your male watermelons this is Charleston gray watermelon we're growing and you want to pollinate the female when it's open these females are going to shoot fruits out of the the ends of them all the female flowers so you want to pollinate the female once they open you want to catch them if the, you don't have a lot of bees, the bees been slacking all around my area for some reason. So we're going to make sure she's pollinated. We're going to rub all this pollen just gently around her. And that's it, guys. She'll pollinate for sure. We got, I want to show you, where are you? She's right here. See? We made sure we had a pollination. My dog didn't run it over yet. So she's growing really good. She's not soft. She's firm. She's not yellow. Her branch is getting nice and green. This is what you want to see. You don't want this branch starting to turn yellow and that fruit turning yellow because that is a sign you have blossom and rot. And that's a no-go, guys. We've got males. These are all males. We don't have any females to pollinate yet. But we're going to keep an eye out because she's, she's pushing like crazy. We're definitely keeping an eye out for some, some more fruit. Is that another one? No, oh, it's a male. 
male. <laughs> See, we don't have any more females to pollinate right now, guys. But we will. I'm sure we will. I'm sure she's got more. So remember to keep giving your plants nutrients. This way you get them pollinations to stick and you don't get blossom and rot like it's going on around here. I hope this video helps you in the best way possible to keep your garden healthy. Please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more to come from Stacy Here We Grow Again. And please remember to share this video with a friend if you think they can benefit from it in any way. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.